I mean, because, you know, the um, so the groups that um, we all know about New Edition, but Troop, to uh, to a lot of us, were, were amazing dancers who could sing, and they gave New Edition a run for their money. It's just that they had the unfortunate yeah. situation with their record label and, and stuff, which, yeah. which started their growth, but they were amazing dancers. And so, and when yeah. you turn them in a senior hall, they're doing their routines and singing. You guys were the female versions of that, doing the dance steps. I remember seeing you guys on Soul Train and you're jumping around yeah. and singing again, picking yeah. up the stuff. And, <laughs> and that yeah. was not easy because most girl groups were not nope. doing that to that extent. So that was yeah. um, one of the hard things that we saw, um, you know. But for yourself, was that stuff that came easy or was it like, wow, I need to get up to the... Because it's a lot, it's not easy <laughs> to dance then get well, back into it- singing. Right. No, it's true. I mean, I think what happens is obviously it's like working out. You know, I, my first the first album, I was a little chubby and then I was just like, OK, I need to work this out. And then I started <laughs> the training and, you know, because obviously when you're working and dancing that hard, the, you know, the weight starts to drop off. And they just really they made me into a dancer. I mean, I mm. I had had a little dance training like in eighth and ninth grade. I was doing some dancing, but they made me into a dancer and they they always worked around me to make sure uh, and with me so that I could really, really drill it in. Oh, and like Johnny what, Gill, whatever huh? I couldn't do like. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. And it was so funny because like if I had to sing a really big note, they'd just be around me making me look good, you know? Oh, uh, you're the female Johnny <laughs> no, Gill. That's it, was, it Rick says now. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> and it's so funny to use that correlation because the girls love New Edition. I mean, they did a whole tribute. Yeah, they she did a whole tribute song to New Edition. <laughs> yeah. So it was, it's funny that you used them as a correlation because it's definitely who they wanted to emulate as a female version. And, you know, I remember Warner Brothers at one point because In Vogue was doing really well. They were like, we just want you guys to, you know, be a little more like uh, sexy. And we were like, nah, we just going to stay in our like, we're going to stay in these jeans and clown bad boots and jump, keep dancing around the stage. <laughs> it's funny you mentioned In Vogue because people were saying. Wait, when sorry, I'm... say it again. Okay. With Oh, okay, right. <laughs> sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. No, it's funny you oh, mentioned. What are you gonna say about info? No, it's funny you mentioned info because when I said to, to the to the community, I'm I'm gonna interview Stacy from Mexico, and they said, "Yeah, what happened with the beef with Invoke? Was there a battle with Invoke with ex girlfriend and Invoke, mm-hmm. or was there name no. callings or anything?" No, no, no way. We never had any beef with Invoke. You know, people how they like to make up stuff. They want to make some kind of drama. We had no, we never, we never even met them. Okay. I don't remember meeting. I remember meeting Cindy and the other one. Um, but we never like if we saw them, maybe we saw them at a show, but it was never like or any friendship okay. or any okay. any so moment for us to even have a beef. Okay. No, I think people wanted to create some drama because you know they like to create the girls group drama and they like yeah. to say, oh, girl groups don't do well together and all the stuff that they say. But we we never no, we never had beef with them. Okay. I was a very big fan of it. I'll tell you a really funny story. So <laughs> My song was like, I think we had like a number three song on Billboard or something. And my friend had just gotten a job at Arista Records and she was doing like this meeting, this press release party with TLC. I was like, I'm coming. I'm coming up to the label. She was like, okay. So I came up to the label and it was like all for the record label executives and stuff to just say, to just do some press stuff with TLC. And I think they had some people coming in, but it was really for like, the executives to sort of just get to know TLC and sort of brainstorm about it. So I walked in and I'm like, can you sign this? And one of the, and I, re, I will never forget Chili looking at me and going, what are you doing here? And I'm like, I'm your fan. Like I, you know, I'm a fan. They start, we started laughing so hard because people expected there to be some rivalry there, mm. but I was a massive fan of TLC. I was, a, I'm still good friends with Lily from SWV, massive fan of SWV. So I, you know, that you always hear like people want to make out this negative thing, but I was a massive, massive fan of Cindy, Cindy from In Vogue. And when I met her, I told her that. Um, so outside of that, I think maybe we saw them during the show maybe once. But okay. we outside of that, we never, we never, we never saw In Vogue okay. now. Okay. Well, because you, you guys were different. <laughs> Why don't you come home? You know, now why don't you come home and eat yeah. your little news? <laughs> yeah, I love that you know the song. That's so cute. That is amazing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so, That's I mean, funny. Uh, what was it like in your for your first album getting working with Full Force? Because they, um, as producers, you know, a lot of people forget that they were, mm-hmm. 
you know, for apart from Lisa Lisa and Cult Jam, they did a lot of stuff yeah. with Backstreet Boys and Sync and all this stuff. But yeah, when they were producing you yeah. guys, what was it like being with Yeah, they work they work really well as a team. They each person wears like a different hat. Like Jerry does the tracks really. Um and then uh like Paul does like the lyrics. You know what I mean? Like he helped yeah. us with our vocals and our harmonies and stuff. So everybody in the group sort of wears uh-huh. a different hat. They are, Brian, you know, they all they all come together at the end of the song and have their input. But really, while we were working together, we kind of knew like if we had a track consideration, we'd go to this one. Or so it was. It was a pretty cool thing. It was hard um, because you know you're at at this point in my career wearing a business hat. I would never go into a deal like that because it's just <laughs> like too many people. It's just too many people, you know. Um, so. Um, <laughs> Is this too many people getting paid out of one song, you know? So, um, but I would say genuinely from my heart that it was a really great experience and mm. working with them. When you listen to the music, you hear so much talent yeah. in the whole family. When you think about Full Force and the singers, it was such a, it was such a t- talented team of people making really great music. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah.
You know I need your love. Come home, come home. Hey, thanks for watching. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. But also check out our membership, which is um, a good way of getting some exclusive videos and actually long videos from day one. But thanks again for watching. Look forward to seeing you again. Thanks. Sweet.